Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're jumping back into the deep end with another four-song EP from ZP Herring, titled Illuminate. If you'd like your own review of your music, my social media links are down in the description. While you're there, check out room6.shop and get some merch. This one promises to be just as interesting and emotive as the rest, so get ready, kiddos. This is gonna be lit! I'm sorry, please don't cancel me. The EP starts off with Masquerade, a trippy yet catchy tune that's got a great musical hook, a driving beat and bass line, and synthesized vocals. I immediately felt my head start to bop along, and while I couldn't make out some of the lyrics on my crappy little headphones, Patreon link is in the description, they somehow seemed to make sense. As a singer-songwriter myself, this song flooded my brain with lyric ideas and made me wish I was in a recording studio. I know I've said this before about ZP's music, but I really do feel like this song fits right into many situations on film and screen. The next song is Cosmos, which starts with sustained synthesizer chords, which reminded me of Father Figure by George Michael for some reason, before the beat comes crashing in. More augmented vocals here, shifting my mental imagery from George Michael to Depeche Mode. Where the first song had a driving beat, this tune is more Gregorian chants mixed with a goth aesthetic. The shortest song on the EP, I found myself wanting more of it as the last notes faded out. Song number three is Midnight Driver. The vocals here are a little less manipulated, so the song title can be clearly heard. The beat here is back to driving the song forward, punctuating the melody and lyrics in a harmonious yet powerful way. You know those songs people write about video games like Five Nights at Freddy's and Undertale? This felt like one of those only for a game called Midnight Driver. I must be spending too much time with my kid. The last song on the EP is The Sun Didn't Come Out, starting with a bass line and a snare drum. When the rest of the instrumentation drops in, the snare beat changes and the song's mood shifts to another tune worthy of a lonesome hero driving a deserted road to unknown dangers. The vocals are again more audible here, and again we hear the title of the song being a main part of the lyrics. Not to say it's boring or repetitive, quite the opposite. The song title is a great anchor to come back to before going off in another lyrical direction. Once again encapsulating the major elements of the rest of the EP, ZP has chosen his last song well on this EP. We get a great cross section here, and being the longest song on the EP, we get a nice healthy dose of what Illuminant is about. Looking forward to the next one, ZP. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you'll click the link in the description and pick up your own copy of Illuminant, ZP Herring's latest EP. I enjoyed listening to it and reviewing it. If you want me to review your music, please contact me. There's a link in the description. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, click up here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please click down here and don't forget to ring the bell. Like, share, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time on Room 6.